Thank you for your interest in studying occupational therapy at Ulster University. Ulster's Bachelor of Science Honours degree in occupational therapy qualifies you to apply for registration as an occupational therapist. But as you can see here, our graduates get much more than a degree. You will be studying at the McGee campus in the heart of Northern Ireland's second city, Derry, Londonderry. There's a vibrant nightlife and a wide range of cultural venues and city festivals. And according to the world's largest cost of living database in 2021, one of the most affordable places to live in the UK. What we will cover in this presentation is why choose to study occupational therapy at Ulster, what you will learn, how you will be taught, how we will support you. You will also hear what our students think about the course and about future careers in the profession. Why study occupational therapy at Ulster? We use a variety of teaching, learning and assessment methods. You will gain real world experience when you complete five professional practice placements. Four of these are in the health and social care trusts and one in a rural emerging setting. This means that you can organise your own placement in final year in an area where there is currently no occupational therapy input, but where you think an occupational therapist could make a positive impact. As a student, you can join the professional body, the Royal College of Occupational Therapists. And once graduated, you are eligible for full membership of the professional body. You are then also able to apply for registration with the Health and Care Professions Council to allow you to practice as an occupational therapist. The course is also recognised by the World Federation of Occupational Therapists, meaning your degree can take you around the world. What will you learn? You will learn the underpinning knowledge to allow you to become confident as an occupational therapy student and the skills you need to start your career as an occupational therapist. You will study anatomy and physiology, health and well-being, communication, activity, occupational analysis and evidence-based practice, to name a few. You will study occupational performance. In other words, how people carry out their everyday occupations from newborn babies to our oldest adults. You will study both physical and mental health conditions which impact on people's abilities to carry out the things they need and want to do on a daily basis. You will learn how to assess people's needs across their lifespan and across the different physical and mental health impacts and how to deliver occupational therapy within multidisciplinary teams in order to maximise quality of life for the people you will work with. We use a variety of teaching, learning and assessment methods, including lectures, seminars, case studies, workshops and practical classes, both online and face-to-face -face teaching on campus. The course is three years full time, including placement blocks. Compulsory attendance is typically 18 to 20 timetabled hours per week between 10.15 and 3.15, Monday to Friday. Placement blocks range from four to eight weeks across three years with full time attendance required on professional practice placement. There is one four week placement in June at the end of year one. There is one six week placement starting in January of year two. And there are three placements in final year, beginning in September for seven weeks, January for five weeks, and you will finish the course on an eight week placement beginning in March of your final year. Assessment is varied and includes written assignments, practical assessments, presentations and a small number of exams. 
The course team is made up of qualified occupational therapists and other healthcare professionals. So we are very good at listening and responding to students' needs. We have a range of supportive measures, including one-to-one -one mentoring and an open door policy for students to come and see us at any time. Each student is given a studies advisor who they can contact for advice and support across the three years of study. There are online resources available through our virtual learning environment, Blackboard Learn and Collaborate. There are excellent library resources within the Learning Resource Centre and online. We use small class sizes for practical activities so that you can get to know those you are studying with and the occupational therapy teaching team. There are also a wide range of student support services. Here you can read about the experience of studying occupational therapy at Ulster from one of our graduates. Meet one of our students. One of our final year students has answered these questions to give you more of an idea of what studying occupational therapy at Ulster is like. Why did you decide to apply to occupational therapy? My main reason for deciding to apply for occupational therapy was because I always knew I wanted to help people, but I didn't know much about allied health professionals at the time. So when I was doing my A-levels, I went to an open day and when I heard about occupational therapy, I went home and read up about it. And just reading about it made me really want to do the degree and the job. It sounded so varied and there looked like there were so many pathways I would be able to take. And when you start the course and go on placement, you get to experience a range of areas where occupational therapists work and you can see what you enjoy. I've been on placement in areas of practice that I never thought I would like, and I actually think it's going to be very hard to decide what I want to specialise in. So my main reason for wanting to study occupational therapy was because I wanted to help people. I like the idea of promoting independence. It's just great seeing people going from something they weren't able to do to being able to do it by using even something like a simple piece of equipment. What route did you come through? I studied my GCSEs and picked health and social care as one of my A-levels. I completed my application through UCAS, but I know people came in through different paths. Some mature students have come in by doing a BTEC, so I know there are other routes. What do you most enjoy about the course? There are about 55 of us and everybody really has the same characteristics. We all want to help people. Everybody is welcoming and kind. You get to meet everyone and get chatting. We've group chats, which we keep in touch through even when we're on placement. I love the way because our lecturers are occupational therapists, they talk about their personal experience as therapists. It helps us better understand what's being talked about. Give us an example of a practical project you have undertaken. My favourite practical was completing relaxation and mindfulness. We all came in wearing comfy clothes. There was blankets and pillows and we got to take our shoes off and lie on mats or beds. And one of our lecturers who has a really soothing voice took us through guided imagery and progressive muscle relaxation. So that's when you're, say, squeezing your hands really tightly, then you relax them. And a few of my classmates fell asleep during the guided imagery. But it was great experiencing that because when I was on mental health placement, I was able to take a relaxation session myself. 
In one of our modules, we get to work with students from the other courses like speech and language therapy, physiotherapy, radiography and healthcare scientists. And we learned and practiced moving and handling. It was great. We were using hoists and sliding sheets and working together like in a multidisciplinary team. What support have you received? The support we've received is second to none. You'll get to meet all the lecturers in first year. We have all their emails and telephone numbers and everyone gets a studies advisor who checks in with us regularly. And you can arrange to meet them anytime and they're there to listen and make sure you're getting on okay because they really want you to be successful and to do well. And if you have any queries or questions, they'll help you. Another thing is we have class reps. Two people are nominated from each course and they can feed back to the lecturers if there's any issues in the class or concerns, which there is usually very little of. So it's really nice that the student voice is really being listened to. Where did you go on placement? I've had a wide variety. In first year, you do a five day, what's called orientation week. And I saw the occupational therapists working in schools and assessing for wheelchairs. We were in the community supplying equipment, very fast pace, and I got to see housing adaptations. So it was great, really interesting. I never thought I would like working with children in paediatrics. My first four week placement was on a ward with stroke patients and on a ward with COVID patients in a large hospital. Everyone made sure I was completely comfortable with what I was doing and I had all the PPE equipment. It was a really incredible experience. On other days, I got to work with occupational therapists in medical and surgical wards. I got to go to Macmillan and they're really supportive in terms of wanting to get you as much experience as possible when you're on placement. I saw things like assessing for correct seating and learned how to write occupational therapy notes, which built my confidence up for my next placement. My next placement was working with people being discharged from a mental health unit or living in the community with ill mental health who needed support from mental health services. We were doing baking groups, making pancakes, workshop demonstrations, woodwork. This was during COVID so we had to adapt how we worked a lot. We went for socially distanced walks. We did relaxation and arts and crafts, ceramics and knitting, and just really getting involved in therapeutic activities to help people to be distracted from everything that was going on at the time. We were working with people with anxiety and depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia and personality disorders. And I got to see the wide teams that the occupational therapists were working in. There was a personality disorder team, community mental health, eating disorder team and the recovery college who do a lot of education sessions for clients and staff. I'm currently on placement in a rehabilitation unit. There are 18 beds and people are coming in needing two people to help them. They have things like fractured hips or knees and I'm currently working with a man who is a double amputee. There are people with dementia and Parkinson's. So we're trying to get them from needing two people to help them to get them back to where they were in being able to be as independent as possible, maybe with a piece of equipment. It's really interesting, but fast paced. We're assessing people in the kitchen assessing them being able to wash and dress themselves. There's a garden, so we're taking them out there to practice fine and gross motor skills. It's great. Everything that you learn, even if you don't use it on one placement, you'll definitely need it in another one. And on this placement, they're letting me follow some patients who are being discharged home. And I can see how the community occupational therapist assesses the home and sets up equipment for the people being discharged. What are your plans for after you graduate? I don't really know, to be honest. I can't believe I'm in third year already. The degree really does fly past. Every time I do a placement, I think, oh yes, this area of practice is the one for me. And then you start a new placement and think how much you love this one. So I think I would like to do a rotational post when I graduate. 
So you would be in one area of practice for six months and then move to another one. So that would be really good to get my experience up as much as possible. So you might be in stroke or brain injury for six months and then community for six months, paediatrics or hand therapy. So I think I'd like to do the rotational post and see where it takes me. When you qualify, you will be able to apply to the Health and Care Professions Council to register to work as an occupational therapist in health and social care trusts. There are many more opportunities opening up for occupational therapists outside the health service. These include private practice as a disability assessor in the voluntary sector or in academia, teaching the next generation of occupational therapy students and carrying out research. Courses are continually reviewed to take advantage of new teaching approaches and developments in research, industry and the professions. Please be aware that modules may change for your year of entry. The exact modules available and their order may vary depending on course updates, staff availability, timetabling and student demand. The entry requirements are published on the website and in addition to academic requirements, you will complete a recorded video interview. For information on equivalencies and questions around specific circumstances, please email admissions at ulster.ac.uk. Applications are open through UCAS.